Hello everyone, this is Absar Ali and welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna see about find element, find elements and find element from an element. And also we can find elements from an element, okay? So this uh, for um, uh, thing that we're gonna see in the web driver IO. So let's get started. Here, let's uh, create one spec file. Uh, I can say find element or maybe, okay, find element using uh, maybe locator. Okay, maybe find element only dot spec dot js. Okay, so same thing I need to provide in here as well, in my spec file. I can say find element dot spec dot js. Okay, so in this, let me reuse my existing code and that will navigate to WebDriver IO page. So instead of WebDriver IO, this time we will go to this tools QA web page. Okay. So fine. So what we will do is we'll go to the page over here and we'll try to find element. Uh, maybe this particular table. Okay. So find the table. So what we can do is let me just inspect these elements. So now we got the whole table. You can see this is my table here. Okay. So once we go to the table, we have uh, here caption, here we have T head, then T footer, T body. Okay. We'll go to the T body. This is all as a T body. So this is uh, what we're gonna do with our first uh, thing, find element. So if I go to the documentation over here, find element uh, using and the value. So first one is using. So we using which uh, element locator strategy like XPath or maybe ID name or CSS or whatever the locator strategy that we have, we need to provide within the double quote as a string in here using and then what is the value of that value means is the x path or id or the name etc that we need to provide over there okay so let me find the x path of this table okay or any locator we can use okay for the time being i can just right click on this get the copy get the x path of this Okay, so now it's being selected the whole table. I got the X path. Now what I'll uh, write here is find browser dot find element and uh, using uh, X path and write this same data, all right? Uh, this X path the value. So this is a uh, locator and this is the value of that locator. Maybe it's, it can be uh, your name, your uh, ID, whatever, right? You can use and the value of that. So I got that and I'll just maybe I'll save it, table object kind of, because it will return me the element object or element ID. So what I can do, I can just console print dot log. Okay, table object is, sorry, just right over here, table object. So if I print this, I should see some object. Maybe just clear this, npm run test. So what it will do, it will go to that particular page and get the object and it passes, right? So you can see now the object is, so this object, okay? So now I got the this table, so 
and the second one that I'll be doing is find elements. So basically, what uh, does it does the find elements the it will return multiple elements. So in this case, you can see we have one of one. That means only one elements. So what I can do if I write like this table up to the table, I can write something like this T body T body that is also one of one that is also unique. But if I write TR, you can see now it will return me the four element. Okay. If I write also TH, that will return multiple. Okay. So four. And within the TH also, or maybe instead of TH, I can write the TD. So it will return each element over here. Okay, so that is 14 elements. So the same thing uh, we can write over here, right? What I can do, find elements. In, in case of find element, what will write? Browser dot find capital E elements. Okay, and in here using XPath and put it here. It will be single quote. Sorry. And this should return me column columns, right? So what I do, I just print columns, console dot log. I can say multiple column object. Okay, so maybe I can write JSON dot stringify i can write sorry not this columns okay so it will plus over here this is okay same thing we can do here as well json dot stringify so that will print the objects String. Okay. So let's see how this thing works. The first one will print the one table object. The second one will print 24 elements. Oh, okay. Yeah. We can see in here multiple columns. So element IDs here. One, two, three. It's 24. Okay, and the first one is only the one here, the table, and these are 24 elements. So this is how it returns. And also we have a method, something called find element from element. Okay, cool. Now find element from element. So you can see the first one, first expert, if I go, so this is one element, okay? You can see in here, this is one element, table. This is one element. From this element, I have this element now, this table object, okay? This element. And from this element, I want to find maybe one particular element. Uh, I can, I want, I want to get the, maybe I can say, the structure text okay i have the text i don't i don't want to go and write from the scratch from the beginning i have element i just want to get this text so what i can do table maybe i can get the text as well sample table or maybe what i can write 
head uh, the structure where I can find it here we go so in here I have T head okay then TR okay then I have the TH1 okay now one element so I'm finding from one element another element so in this case what I need to do is just need to provide this X path till here okay till here because we already have element sorry till table okay so I need to find this only I need to navigate because till here I have this element. I just need to navigate from here to here. Okay, so same thing we can do um, in this case as well. Okay, so what we can do. In here. Browser. So if I see the find element from element, okay? So you can see here the element ID you need to provide and the using and value. So what I can do, browser dot find element from element and the first one would be the ID, okay? Element ID. So what would be the element ID? The table object would be the element ID here and the using X path and then the value of X path. So value of X path would be the relative to the table. Okay, relative to the table object, this one. So only need to provide T head TR, this thing. T head TR TH1, okay and now let me save it to something sorry okay so i can say this is my structure okay so the structure and struct dot get get text so I can just print console console dot log text returned as I can write like this then let's see whether this works or not I can run now after running this I should get the text of that uh, structure structure text okay so I'm getting some error it says the malform type element parameter of command find element okay so saying element id is an issue so yeah so what why this is the problem because element id should be a string but we are providing as an object so what i can do just write to string okay so now it should work fine npm run test will go to that page find the page now I got another error okay this time you can see we are getting a different uh, exception called stale element exception so stale element exception occur if something changes in the DOM itself okay so basically during we search this table we are also performing another task because of that, uh, the 
reference to the previous element got lost okay so in this case let me just uh, comment this this one so that it will be only one but let's see whether this also works or not okay uh, the same issue still element exception so what we can do fine instead of doing like this what i can do is we can find the element again okay so the whole element itself we can find it here to string then should be okay and let me just comment out this one as well let me just run it it's opening the browser then closing the browser having same issue let's fix this so i have changed the locator to css uh, selector like this container table and i'll Save with the variable and the same thing I did here instead of expat. I just uh, I have written the CSS selector. Okay, so in this time it should get this, but due to some issue, I'm still getting a uh, still element exception. Okay, so okay, so intermittently it works fine, uh, or sometime I'm having this issue. Okay, for this, uh, maybe it's something wrong with this strategy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but okay, so this is how uh, exactly we need to use find element from element. And again, the same way we can do find elements from element. Okay, so fine. Uh, this is how we can use uh, this one find element from element and find elements from element okay fine thank you for watching bye for now